Hi guys, this is Aishi Joshi and you are watching me on AchieveIS and uh, as you all know that uh, I promise you to cover all the topics, all the important judgments, important amendments of 2019 till now and as we all know we are we all are living in lockdown areas and we are we are living in a time period where no important judgments and amendments are coming out we are just looking towards all these important uh, uh, like uh, how much covid patients are coming out and how much are going to dead and something like that but these are not important for our exam point of view okay for this crucial time you can use this time to do your studies and your preparation so today we are going to discuss about the sabrimala temple issue okay this was the important and landmark judgment or decision of supreme court regarding exams okay so let's have a look towards it what it is it is a long dispute it is a long issue that is going on from last few years even i can say 20 30 plus years okay so let's have a look towards it first of all let me give you a clue about it that this is the issue regarding women entry in temple okay that uh, women entry is prohibited women's are prohibited or i can say women's are not allowed in this temple okay so till last judgment now let's have a look towards it that what it is and how it works so first of all let's go through the introductory part of it sabrimala temple is situated in shasta situated at uh, sabrimala okay and uh, it is in padmanath uh, padmanabha district of kerala now in the past women devotees of menstruating age were not permitted to worship here this ban being said to be out of respect to the caliber nature of the deity in this temple so basically it is just a general thing that if you are um, uh, prohibiting or you i can say you are stopping someone to go in some temple this is totally the violation of the right of uh, worship of right or uh, right of religion or something like that okay so uh, last judgment of kerala high court was given in 1991 at till that time since that time uh, women's are uh, prohibit uh, sorry i can say women's are not allowed to go in this temple they can't enter in this temple in september 2018 a judgment of supreme court of india ruled that all pilgrims regardless of gender it means all the temples all the places that are under the uh, considered as the pilgrim or something else like uh, they are not uh, if you are prohibiting someone to go inside some temple or something some place like this then definitely you are violating the right of uh, religion of right or right of freedom of that particular person okay so including women in the menstruating age group should be allowed entrance to sabri mala it means you can't prohibit someone to enter in some temple so in 2018 supreme court gave this judgment regarding this issue okay now what happens next uh, next what was the base of that decision the constitution bench of the supreme court that had uh, that uh, uh, held that any exception placed on women because of biological differences violates the constitution that the ban violates the right of equality under 14 article 14 and the right of religion under article 20 article 25 it means if you are banning the girls or ladies of that particular menstruating age group you are violating the right of equality and freedom of religion here the question comes out that which two articles are be are getting violated according to this dispute so by the banning of uh, girls by if you are going to ban the girls or you are to going to prohibit them to enter in temple then you are definitely violating the article 14 and article 25 okay so is it clear to you hope it is getting cleared because it is not a very big deal at all so this wording led to protest by women, people who oppose the verdict and this was the decision of supreme court but rather than this the public of particular reason and the persons from i can say some political parties or something like that i can't say anything about these disputes but some people stole that uh, no this is not a proper decision women's are women should not be allowed in temple okay 
so several women attempted to enter sabrimala uh, despite threat of physical assault against them but failed to reach the sanctum sanctorum okay the basic where, where is the main temple and where we can go for the um, uh, god and we can see the god the they the ladies that have attempted to enter the temple were not allowed and they were uh, like um, failed to reach that particular point okay so two women belonging to the previously bared age group finally entered the temple defying protest on 2nd of jan 2019 with the help of police through the back gate okay they entered through the back gate and with the help of police on 2nd january 2019 there were two women okay so temple was closed for purification what happens by that action of that two women the temple was closed it was because they uh, the uh, what i can say the worship men or i can say the persons who were opposed or at the opposition of this jurisdiction or judgment they were like uh, they were not al- um, liking that point or they were not allowing the women they thought that by this step of these two ladies the when the women enter entered in this temple it means the uh, temple is going to be uh i can say uh, it is uh, we have to purify it okay the process of purification has been started after the women's entry so it is totally uh, uh, i can say it is totally a very worst decision of those peoples because you can't Uh, by this step or by this action you what you are going to show that you are superior than that of particular category which has already been uh, uh, clarified to be superior by the supreme court it means you are superior than supreme court or some uh, highest authorities of uh, judgments or highest of authorities of the india okay according to constitution so this was the base of it now what uh, when the supreme court or the bench who uh, gave the verdict the sabrimala verdict was delivered by the constitutional bench comprising chief justice of india under ranjan ranjan gogoi you know very well that ranjan gogoi sir gave the landmark decisions in his uh, working uh, duration okay in his tenure he gave the landmark decision whether it could be uh, we can take the ayodhya dispute uh, dispute or sabrimala dispute or in all such type of decisions supreme court gave a landmark decisions under the judgment or under the bench of ranjan gogoi so who were the basic justices and supreme chief justices of that particular bench ranjan gogoi was the chief justice and justice were, justices were rohinton folly and nariman, uh, nariman and uh, am khanvilkar and dy chandrachud and indu malhotra okay these were the uh, five judges which um, make a bench of supreme uh, supreme court and uh, uh, this was the constitutional bench and they uh, delivered the verdict of sabrimala okay so let's go through the timeline of it that what is the history of this case in 1990 a petition was filed in the kerala high court seeking a ban on entry of women inside the sabrimala sabrimala temple okay but after just just after that 1991 kerala high court had upheld the restriction of women of certain age entry inside the holy shrine of lord ayappa okay then in 2006 a petition was again filed in the supreme court by the indian young lawyers associated seeking entry of women between 10 to 50 it means this age group was restricted to enter in this temple it means the age group who were restricted were between 10 to 50 the women of uh, between 10 to 50 why the only the age of 10 to 50 because in this time period this is the time of women's menstruating age okay this is the age group of women's menstru- menstruating that's why they were not allowed to enter in temple by the 2008 the matter was referred to the three judge bench okay two years later after the um, after the petition when the supreme court uh, of the indian Lug- uh, young lawyers associate association seeking entry uh, between the 10 to 50 age groups or 10 to 50 years then when they filled the petition in 2006 after that just two years later the matter was referred to the three bench judges okay
now in january 2016 the court had questioned the ban saying this cannot be done under the constitution i mean constitution can't say that uh, you can't women's can't go and men's can go in the temple and uh, they can enter women can't enter these type of judgments can't be done by the supreme court okay and after that in april 2016 the united democratic front government of kerala led by chief minister omain chandi informed the C- uh, supreme court that it is bound to protect the right uh, right of practice or right to practice the religion of sabrimala devotees after that on 7th november of 2016 the kerala government had ho- told the supreme court that it was a favor of allowing women inside the sanctum uh, sec- um, the sanctorum of the temple okay sanctum i can say sanctum sanctorum of the temple so uh, just don't keep it in uh, your mind because my pronunciation bit low so uh, in 2017 the supreme court referred the case to the constitutional bench in september 2018 a five bench uh, five judge bench of supreme court allowed the entry of women of all in the, yeah this was the landmark decision okay in september 2018 a landmark decision was given by the supreme court the five judges bench i told you already we have discussed that the who are the five judges of this bench the uh, under the leadership of chief justice uh, man of uh, ranjan gogoi and uh, he delivered even i can say the five bench judge uh, five judges bench delivered a verdict or they delivered a uh, issue what they said they said that supreme court allowed the entry of women of all ages in the revered uh, shrine the state government sought time to implement the verdict however even after the entry was allowed a large number of followers camped outside the shrine prevent the entry of women of all ages okay so feb in feb 2019 the order was reserved by the apex court And so it was all about this let me know you the last decision was of supreme court only in september 2018 it was said that women are allowed to go inside but here still date till i can say uh, till date it is a uh, conflicted matter that women are not allowed to go there this is and this is uh, done by the local uh, persons or local citizens that they are not allowing the women to enter in this temple even even i can say they are overcoming or i can say they are trying to overcome the uh, decision of supreme court this which is totally unconstitutional which is totally unprofessional and it is not to be done by uh, local citizens or opposition parties because it is perfectly a uh, fair judgment then uh, i if i am not a uh, women by that time by this time but still i can say this is not the perfect time at all i am a girl that's why i'm saying this nothing like that every individuals i t- talked to so many people about this matter and every individual was saying that yeah it should be done that women have to get uh, women are should be allowed to enter in that particular temple because this is not the issue regarding women or men this is just a issue that is taken by some biological aspects which is not in our control or our hands okay by just this particular aspect we can't prohibit the women to enter the temple okay so it was all about sabrimala issue sabrimala temple issue and uh, we uh, learned everything about this temple i tried to cover every aspect of it still uh, i can say if you have any issue if you have any doubt you can give me in your uh, comment section of this uh, video just go through this video by the end because this video will help you a lot for your exam okay i covered so many points in it if you didn't get what i want to say you can stop the video you can go through each and every slide of it i tried myself best to explain each and every aspect of this uh, issue and uh, this was the issue regarding women entry and uh, i sh- i think you should go through it you can uh, share your ex- extra knowledge also you can ask the questions you can put your queries you can definitely give your uh, imp- valuable reviews or comment on these videos okay what i'm sharing with you 
so be with me i'm here this is aishu joshi thanks for watching and uh, we achieve ias the team of achieve ias is working a very um, uh, hard manner i can say very prompt manner for you and i would definitely like to tell you that thanks for your support thanks for your achievements regarding our channel and this is uh, this was me aishu joshi thanks for being with me uh, and definitely i'll uh, give you the next Uh, lesson as soon as possible and this will definitely help you in your exam so continuously go through each and every video twice thrice uh, till that time you didn't get and each and everything about that particular topic okay so thanks thanks for watching bye bye take care have a great day